In this video, we're talking about removable discontinuities, which are a specific type of discontinuity. So first of all, when we talk about a discontinuity in a function, we're talking about a point at which the function is undefined. So that could be where the function has a hole, some kind of a gap, a break, a jump, an asymptote, something like that. So wherever the function is undefined, we're going to have a discontinuity there. A removable discontinuity is just at a single point. So what we want to do is we want to look for discontinuities of this function. We want to classify the kinds of discontinuities that they are. And then if any of the discontinuities we find are removable, we want to redefine the function to sort of plug the hole in the graph. So here's what we're talking about. We have this function f of x is equal to x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 4. Because we have a rational function, in other words, our function is a fraction, and we have polynomials in both numerator and denominator, that's a rational function, we know that a rational function is only going to be undefined where the denominator of that function is equal to 0. So in other words, in our case, if x squared minus 4 is equal to 0, we know that we're going to have a discontinuity because the function will be undefined because you can't have 0 in the denominator. We can't divide by 0. So if we solve this equation, we add 4 to both sides, we get x squared is equal to 4. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we can see that x is equal to positive or negative 2. Positive 2 can be the square root of 4. Negative 2 can also be the square root of 4. So we have two values of x, x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2, that represent potential points of discontinuity in this function. But if we look at this function again, what we can see is that we can actually factor the denominator of the function. So this is the same as x minus 2 in the numerator, but in the denominator, x squared minus 4 is the same as quantity x plus 2 times quantity x minus 2. And now we notice that we have a factor of x minus 2 in the numerator and a factor of x minus 2 in the denominator, which we can cancel from the numerator and denominator. So if we cancel that factor, what we're left with then is 1 in the numerator and just x plus 2 in the denominator. Now if we simplify the function to this point, and now we have the function 1 divided by x plus 2, what we can see is that this new function, this simplified function, is only discontinuous at the value x equals negative 2, because negative 2 is the only value of x that makes the denominator of this new function equal to 0. If x is positive 2, we have 2 plus 2, which is 4. We have 1 fourth here. Nothing about that is undefined. Only x equals negative 2 makes this new function undefined which means that by simplifying this function, by factoring the denominator and removing this factor of x minus 2, by reducing this fraction, we were able to remove the discontinuity that existed at x equals positive 2, which means x equals positive 2 is a removable discontinuity of the function because we were able to remove it simply by doing some factoring and cancellation. Because the discontinuity at x equals negative 2 was not removed, it still remains even after we've simplified the function, we can say that x equals negative 2 is a non-removable discontinuity. We can't remove it even after we've simplified the function. So if we look at this non-removable discontinuity a little bit closer, what we see here is that if we plugged it into the simplified function, x equals negative 2, if we plugged it in here, we'd have negative 2 plus 2, which would be 0. We would end up with 1 over 0 here in the simplified function. Even if we plugged it into our original function, if we plugged it into the numerator, we would have negative 2 minus 2, which would give us a negative 4. In the denominator, we would have negative 2 quantity squared, which would give us positive 4. 4 minus 4 would be 0. In other words, here, for x equals negative 2, we get negative 4 divided by 0. Here, for x equals negative 2, we end up with 1 over 0. And whenever you have a real number in the numerator and 0 in the denominator, that's a good indication that there's going to be a vertical asymptote in the function at that particular value of x. And both the original function and the simplified function indicate that we're probably going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and say that the discontinuity here is going to be a vertical asymptote. On the other hand, here we have a removable discontinuity, which just means that the function is discontinuous at the single point x equals 2. So if we wanted to graph this vertical asymptote, and we call asymptotes essential or infinite discontinuities, and we wanted to graph the point discontinuity here at x equals 2, we could go ahead and 
pull up a picture of the graph. Here's a picture of the original function. And what we can see is that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. So we can go ahead and indicate the vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2 here. And here at x equals 2, we have a point discontinuity. So we would want to draw an empty circle right here to indicate that there is a removable discontinuity in the function at this point. Well, remember, the original problem asked us to classify any discontinuities of the function, which we've done. We said that we had a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2, and any kind of asymptote is an essential or infinite discontinuity. Then we said we had a removable discontinuity, which means we're going to have a point discontinuity at x equals 2. But now we've been asked to redefine the function at any removable discontinuity. So what does that mean? Well, it means what value would the function have to have other than this x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 4 value in order for it to be continuous at x equals 2? Because if we just plug x equals 2 into the original function, so we say for x equals 2, if we plug x equals 2 into this original function, we get 2 minus 2, or 0, in the numerator. In the denominator, we get 2 squared, which is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. We get 0 over 0. So we can see, obviously, that our function is undefined at x equals 2. And in fact, whenever you have some value that gives you 0 over 0 for your original function, that's a good indication that you have a point discontinuity at that value. So how are we going to give the function a new value to make it continuous? Well, all we want to do is plug this x equals 2 value into our simplified function, because we're able to remove this discontinuity by factoring out and canceling this x minus 2 factor here. So if we plug x equals 2 into this simplified function, so we say for x equals positive 2 here, we get 1 in the numerator. In the denominator, we get 2 plus 2, which is 4, so we get 1 fourth. So if instead of this rational function here, we say that the function is equal to 1 fourth when x equals 2, that will plug this hole here in the graph and make it continuous. So it'll become a solid circle here, and we can say that that hole is plugged. So if we were going to redefine the graph and we wanted to write it as a new function, what we would say is f of x no longer just equals this function. f of x instead is going to equal, and here's where we draw a big bracket, and we'll say the only point where we have a problem is x equals 2. So we have no problem letting the function equal x minus 2 over x squared minus 4, the original function, for all x not equal to positive 2. But when x is equal to positive 2, we want to redefine the function and say it's going to be equal to 1 fourth instead of this original function. Because at x equals positive 2, we have a point discontinuity, a removable discontinuity that interrupts the function, and we instead want to plug that hole and say that when x equals positive 2, the function's value instead is 1 fourth. And that's how you can redefine the function to remove the point discontinuity and make the function continuous at that point.